Alright, everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video, and today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a new standard mill deck, and mill decks are some of my favorite decks to use. They may be annoying to play against, but I still love using them. I always like trying to win, and basically, to mill someone, if you don't already know what it is, you gotta deck them out, so when they go to draw a card, they have no card itself to draw. You win the game that way. You basically do not take a single prize card, and that is extremely interesting. And I always love these kind of strategies. Mill decks are always fun to use. They got no guts. And anyways, we're going to be taking a look at a mill deck for standard that doesn't actually revolve mainly around Houndoom and stuff. We're going to be looking at Weezing instead. Weezing is a pretty interesting card. Now, it's another milling kind of card. Now, on this front point, it's got 110 HP for stage 1. Not the greatest HP for stage 1, but it's not the worst. Uh, Psychic type, which is kind of bad when you're playing against like Mewtwo and Garbodor, not Gardevoir, Gardevoir, so yeah, it's not got the greatest type, and the HP ain't the greatest, it's got 3 retreat, it's a tech, thick liquid, <laughs> thick liquid, when she thick, but thick liquid isn't really the greatest attack either, but it's got the attack balloon bomb, so for 2 energies, which means you can use it with a DCE, you flip two coins for each head to discard the top cards of your opponent's deck. This is an interesting attack. Now, on most of the mill cards like Houndoom and Bunnelby, you just straight up discard the top two cards. Well, with Balloon Bomb, you flip two coins for each head to discard the top two cards, which means if you get double heads, you're discarding the top four cards of their deck, which is actually kind of powerful. And especially in a situation where you're going to be getting rid of their energy and stuff, Balloon Bomb can be very effective at discarding all, like their deck because if you get two heads, Four cards being discarded is extremely, pardon me, extremely, extremely, extremely good. So that's what that is. And the problem with Weezing, again, is its Psychic type. The fact that it's weak to Psychic can be pretty bad, especially against Mewtwo Y. Mewtwo Y decks are going to destroy this deck. I mean, literally, two energies for Shatter Shot takes out Weezing. Even a Shatter Shot takes out a Coughing just for one energy. That can be pretty bothersome. And Mewtwo Y is the easiest worst matchup, but when you're playing against Mewtwo Y and you're running the amount of energies, Weezing isn't that bad anymore. So Balloon Bomb is the main attacker. Now what can you combo Weezing with? Well, maybe you can combo it with Gardabor, Gar Garbador, not Gardabor, but Gar Garbador. Oh my god, now I'm even saving in my head. Oh my god, it's contagious. But Garbador, Garbador, maybe shut off their abilities, maybe slow them down like you're playing against Greninja Break or something, or, you know, Volcanion. Uh, you got Garbador, or maybe you can play like Waylord, maybe First Stall. We're going to be playing the other two Millers, the Houndoom and the Bunnelbees. Houndoom is a pretty powerful card for milling. One Fire G, it just straight up discards the top cards of your opponent's deck. Just no strings attached, just boop, discards the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Very, very good attack. And since it's an EX Pokemon, it's got even more HP, 170 HP, meaning it's going to be taking a, quite a bit of hits sometimes, so Melting Horn is going to be a very, very good attack, and it's also just going to be the best partner with Weezing, and even Bunnelby. Bunnelby is a really good card. Not only can it use the Ancient Trait Barrage, where you can do the double milling, you can do Burrow twice, but it's even got the attack Rototiller, which you can get some stuff back, like maybe Hammers or VS Seekers or something like that. So, you know, we've got the two Bunnelbees. The two partners I think Weezing works well with is Houndoom and Bunnelby. Now, I actually just went with the Evolutions Coffee just because I really like the artwork a lot. This is, like, one of my favorite artworks in uh, Evolution. So, I went with the Coffee uh, from Evolutions because I really like the artwork. And, you know, we got two Shamans in the deck. Shaman's very important for setup. You can draw extra cards, try and get you some more cards you can use to mill them. I don't know, maybe you can do a version with, like, maybe, like, Octillery, but I think Shaman's the better version, so we are going to be using two Shamans. So these are all the Pokemon. We got two Bunnelby, two Shaman, two Houndoom, and then a 4-4 Weezing line. So those are all Pokemon. We can go to the items. There's a lot of items in this deck. Starting off is Crushing Hammer. Now, I hate Crushing Hammer. I think Crushing Hammer is one of the most annoying cards in the game, and I really despise this card a lot, and... But we still have to run it because, you know what, it's very good in a mill deck. Flip a coin of heads, discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very good card. Discarding their energy is very important in a mill deck. Maybe run them out of energy so they can't attack you. Two Enhanced Hammer. Enhanced Hammer, again, is one of those cards that I despise. But we're still going to play it. Just having the ability to discard special energy is very good. Especially against decks that rely heavily on special energies. Enhanced Hammer is very, 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 very powerful. One Level Ball. Level Ball, you know what? Grab this an extra coffee or like a bottle B. Level ball is very good for the coffee because against like something like Mewtwo, it's like, oh, I'm gonna need a level ball, get a coffee onto my bench and stuff like that. Since they are weak with 60 HP, so I went with level ball. One special charge since 
DC is mainly how Weezing attacks, so Special Charge is very good with that. A Super Rod, Super Rod, you know, get us back some of our Weezings, Houndoom, whatnot. So we are going to be playing one Super on the deck, one Switch. Switch is very good. Now, I want to switch over to Escape Rope because Escape Rope can act as like that Lysander to bring something up with a big retreat. But Switch, I think, is better just because it is a little more useful because you never know when Escape Rope could actually hurt you against, you know, when you're using the middle deck. Plus, Weezing has a three retreat cost, so I decided to go with a Switch. Three traders mail. I really wanted to go with four, but you know what? I went with three. Just couldn't find enough room for a fourth one. But there are a lot of important items in this deck, so maybe four is better. But find some room. Four ultra balls. Ultra ball is a very good card, but you know maybe you could take out an ultra ball and throw in your fourth trainer's mail. Uh, four via seeker, via seeker. Very important. Since there are a lot of important supports in this deck, and we go over the main ones. I guess one Lysander. Lysander is very good. I think I just actually removed it. Yes, I did. But yeah, Lysander brings something up. Trap it there. Mill them. Three ends, and obviously you know draw support. Same thing. With Sycamore. Now we get into the more important supporters, and I I know I just removed the Lysander by accident. I don't really know why this game does that sometimes. It really annoys me when it does that when I'm trying to do these deck explanation parts of the video. But whatever, it is what it is. Look past it. One Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac, it kind of works, you know, as like a way to shut down Greninja Breaks and stuff like that, or just abilities in general. You never know when that Hex Maniac is going to help you, especially against Greninja Break. Two Team Flare Grunts. It's another way to get energy off your opponent's active Pokemon to kind of make them not have any energies to attack. So we got Team Flare Grunts. Two Team Rocket's Handiwork, which is basically Weezing's attack in a form of a supporter, which is kind of hilarious. Same thing as Weezing's attack. It's a very good card because it works as a milling card. Also, when with Via Seeker, you basically can have a lot of these. So, yeah, we got two Parallel Cities for our first stadium. Parallel City, it's great just to have that secondary effect where you maybe they could do less damage to you, which in the long run will help out a milling deck. And also having that effect maybe through it. Pokemon can be good. So, yeah, Parallel City went with two of these. I went with uh, one side Lab. I think two side lab might be a little better, just because side lab can shut down stuff like Volcanion and whatnot. So I don't know if you want to go with two side lab. I went with one, and we only play one uh, tool. Well, actually, no, we don't play one tool, but we got one tool in this deck, which is assault vest. I just said that. Whatever, who cares? But anyways, what assault vest? Assault vest is a very, very good tool card with milling decks. I don't know why. You know, no one really runs this card. It's a pretty good card. Any damage done to Pokemon by attacks, anything with special energy on them is reduced by 40. Even though we have all these energy discarding cards, which is kind of only why I won one, because I don't think any more is needed. Assault Vest can be good, and you know, having less damage done to you is very important, since a lot of decks do run special energies. One Floatstone, Floatstone is just nice to have, to have something to have for your treat. Going into the energies, we got the four DCEs as standard, since we need them for the Weezing, and then we got four fire energies, you got the four DCs, four fires, so uh, four fires I think is good enough, you know, you're only really going to need them for the Houndoom and the Bunnel Bee, and since Super Rod's in the deck, you know what, I don't think any more than four is needed, so that's why I went four. This is the Weezing mill deck here that I have built on PDCG, oh, uh, let's go hop and do some games with the deck, see if we can deck some people out and have some fun with the deck, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay guys, here we go, game number one with our Weezing deck, playing against F under fe underscore tds uh i feel like this is gonna be a rainbow road deck i mean the xerneas coin may give it away and we'll see how this goes hopefully we can deck them out and all will be good we do win the coin flip which is awesome if we get a coffee and start we can get a turn to wheezing which would be great sadly i just realized our sleeves did not register which is kind of annoying i don't really know why that's been going on like uh for some reason my sleeves never register on my deck it's, it's very annoying because you know i'd like to have my sleeves so hopefully they fix that in like a new patch because it's getting a little annoying not having my sleeves in so we'll play the dce on the coffin and i guess i'll end him just in case he somehow knocks me out i need to get like another pokemon in play so i'll play the end and all right i don't really see two vs seekers so i guess we'll get rid of the sycamore and an ultra ball and we could probably just grab maybe shaman i guess we can grab Shaman, maybe get three cards. We can grab another Coffin, which actually wouldn't be the worst, but I'll just grab the Shaman. I think maybe that might be the better play. We can probably Shaman, maybe try and get some more Pokemon down that way. Hopefully, we can maybe find, like, a Level Ball, and maybe, like, a Bunnelby or a Houndoom. And, all right, no. We do get a Weezing for next turn, which is good. We'll play the Trainer's Mail now. And, all right, we'll grab Team Rocket's Trickery, just in case we can play that next turn. And I think I'll just pass. Now, this Weezing deck, man, it ain't it ain't no tier 1 competitive deck, it's more of a funny rogue deck, but we'll see. My opponent plays a 4 star Plains now, which means this is actually going to be a Vespaquin deck, which is actually a really good matchup. Oh, no, never mind, it looks like my opponent plays Vileplume instead, which is not the worst matchup, I guess. You know what, my opponent might still be relying on energies a lot, so this might actually be good for us, but my opponent might have to dig through a lot of cards to try and get a turn 1 Vileplume. Which is good for us, but I think he's going to be able to get it here. Hopefully we don't see a turn 1 Vileplume. 
Uh, yikes, if we do, that could be bad. But you know what? If not, then it's fine. He doesn't have a Vile Plume in his discard. He's going to grab a Gloom and an Eridos. And, oh, there's the Vile Plume. But he may be in a pretty weird spot. I don't know what he's playing. Like, I don't know. Now, the good thing is, is if we can get... Okay, I was hoping to get, like... Okay, never mind. I was hoping to get, like, a Pokemon or something, but... We'll end him. We know the Shaman's in his hand. We know he's gonna try and set up, but we can end him instead. Maybe, I don't know if that was best played, but... I think we should... Okay, there's a, a Parallel City, and we got a Houndoom. Houndoom might actually be able to attack in this game, which would be very funny. So we'll play down the Houndoom. We can play down that. We'll play down the Parallel City, and I guess we'll just make him do less damage, because I saw he plays Grass Energy, so I guess we can make him do a little less damage. And sadly, our hand is not that good, though. Let's Balloon Bomb Double Heads. Hey, look at that. We got the Double Heads. Discarding four cards. We get rid of Shaman Sceptile DCE. Holy cow. That was really nice. Uh, so my opponent plays a Spinarak down. Ariados. I don't really think it's going to be a big deal if he can even get in play. There's a Sycamore. Hopefully, we see him discard a bunch of useful stuff. Yeah, we see Rainbow Energy, Grass Energy. I really don't know what else he's playing in his deck. Uh, but yeah, okay. We're kind of in top deck mode, though, which is a little bad. We see the Parallel City get discarded, which is pretty bad we got another one in the deck i think so we're fine he does play the Ariados down but he hasn't played an attacker yet we see a septile going down okay hopefully he doesn't attack with that septile he does retreat into it though which is interesting all right let's see he has an energy i don't know why he would do that but now it's gonna get poisoned hopefully we do not see an energy going down okay sweet we know this gives us more time to balloon bomb and hopefully get a better top deck that is not a better top deck come on balloon bomb Double heads again? Wow, holy cow, that worked. So we get double heads, and we get rid of even more energy. We get rid of two, we get rid of another DC, more grass energy, and like rainbow energy. Yeah, but we really need a top deck, though. Oh, it'd be so nice to just play this via Seeker. Maybe if we get Hex Maniac, uh, we can Hex Maniac the Vile Plume, maybe. That'll help us. But actually, my opponent ends me, which is really weird. I don't know why he would do that. Maybe he's still trying to find energy, I guess, but that just helps me out a lot. This might be perfect, and it is. We got a really good hand. We can even Team Flare Grunt this Wheezy next turn, which I'm probably going to do. And this hand is great. So, yeah, we just see a Rainbow Energy going down, which is a, a special energy. So if we ever get the Enhanced Hammer Hex Maniac, we can maybe discard that. See a Sleep Poison. Please do not get heads. Okay, good. Uh, but, yeah, this is actually a really good position. We can we get Trans Mail, not really what I need. Play down the Coffin. We can put a DCE on it. We can Team Flare Grunt off that Rainbow Energy. Now my opponent cannot Unseen Claw me next turn. And we can Balloon Bomb and get Double Heads again. Wh what are these heads, dude? Holy cow. We get rid of Acrobite, even more energy. I'm getting really lucky right now with my Balloon Bombs. I do not know how I've gotten that many heads. Um, and this is actually a really good spot. I don't even know if we can lose at this point. We've discarded so many cards. My opponent just passes in shame. Um, we got a super odd. It's all good. We're just going to dump a bunch of items anyways. I don't want to discard an extra Sycamore because we're going to need those, but we'll play it anyways. And let's see what we get. We get another Houndoo. We can play him down, I guess. We got more Team Rockets Trickery. I don't think we can lose this at this point. Double heads again. Oh, dang it. But we can Balloon Bomb. We get rid of even more energies and an end, which I'm actually glad I got rid of the end. Because we have a really good hand. We can Team Rocket's Trickery. We got another Wheezing on the bench. My opponent hasn't even attacked me yet. We basically win the game. Like, there is no way we're going to lose this. And that's what I like about this Wheezing deck. When you get turns, when you get plays like this, dude, this deck is unstoppable. This deck is crazy. We are going to get knocked up by Poison, though. Or my opponent's going to attach. But, yeah, at this point, I did not see how my opponent's going to be able to win the game. Uh, he's gonna have to take all these prizes, he's really low on cards, and I burned through a ton of his energies, even that Vile Plume being in play really doesn't bother me, so, yeah. I'm just gonna play Team Rocket's Handiwork, and, alright, we do get one heads, we do get rid of some more excess stuff. My opponent concedes the game, realizing the Weezing deck is too good, we get some coins off of that double, double wheel, that was a really nice game, we were able to win it, and, yeah, you can see the power of this Weezing deck, uh, but we'll see another game with this deck, I really love playing Mill decks. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in another game with the Weezing deck in just a sec. Alright guys, here we go. Game number two with our Weezing deck. Heads or tails? I'm gonna go with tails. I feel like it won't be heads. Please don't be heads. <laughs> Cyndaquil, what the heck, man? Ugh. Alright, now this... We have to just hope to get a Houndoom or Bundle Bee starter. If we start with Coughing, this is bad. The thing, the problem with the Weezing deck is since you're using a stage one, and I still forgot to put sleeves on this deck. I need to do that. But, oh, we get the Coughing start too, just to rub in the salt. You know, if we were going first, this would have been a really nice position. I think my opponent's playing Mewtwo, which is 
a pretty interesting matchup. We definitely need to get that Houndoom in play soon. Uh, I wish we started with either Houndoom or Bunnelby. That would have been a perfect start, so we don't have to really worry about coughing. Ah, uh, that sucks. Maybe, maybe my opponent isn't playing Mewtwo. Maybe we're lucky. And you know what? Maybe my opponent lets me go first out of generosity. So who knows, but... This is bad, and it is Mewtwo, which is just extremely annoying. Also, Shattershot one-shots my coughing, so... You know what? Even if we were going first, it still wouldn't really matter too much, I guess, but... Still very, very frustrating having to play against these Mewtwo decks, but... Whatever, we can still try and pull off a win, hopefully. I don't know. We see a Trainer's Mail for my opponent. And... Uh, this is such a bad matchup. He's gonna grab a Floatstone. Alright. Now, the Trainer's Mail's gotta give us something good, though. Hopefully it does, because if Trainer's Mail gives us something good, this will be great for us. My opponent gets rid of a Via Seeker and another Energy, you know. Energy getting the discard pile is never a bad thing. My opponent grabs a Hoopa. I don't know, man. We, we gotta find a win. I mean, when I was practicing with this deck earlier... I actually was able to beat a Mewtwo Y deck, so maybe we can repeat the process, but it's going to be very tricky to even win this match. I don't even think Weezing is going to be needed in this game, because of how easy it is to be knocked out. Okay, well, it is going to grab a bunch of Mewtwo's. Now, we need to get, like, a level ball or something off this trainer's mill. We need to get, like, another coughing down so we can actually make use of this DCE. I don't really like having the DCE just sitting on the coffee and doing nothing, and it will only get knocked out, so it's not really that good. So, we gotta get, like, another coughing going or something soon, and that'll be great. Now, okay. My opponent plays a Shaman down. Garbodor maybe wouldn't be bad, but no, my opponent passes. Alright, that's fine. Special charge top deck, not what I want to see. Uh, we got a Crushing Hammer. We didn't get what we needed. I mean, we could play the Crushing Hammer. It's not, I don't think it's gonna matter, though. Well, I guess we'll play it, and it doesn't even get heads. Of course not. I'm just gonna Sycamore, you know, maybe we can get a Floatstone and like a Fire Energy and a Houndoom or something off of this, and we can go from there. Alright, so let's play Trainer's Mail first, see what we can get off of this. We get another Crushing Hammer, I guess we can grab that. Alright, so let's play the Level Ball, and you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna grab Bunnelby and just go for the Turn 1 Burrow. I think that might be the best play, I mean, we're making use of this anyway, so I might as well, I don't know. Let's go with Crushing Hammer, see what we get. Oh, come on, man. Alright, well, we can switch out into Bunnelby, and we can Burrow. I don't think I need to do Rototiller, maybe get a Crushing Hammer back, I don't think I need to. Maybe a Salt Vest, but I don't know. We'll just double Burrow, I think that might be the better play. We get rid of a DCE, which is nice, you know, energy getting discarded, always a good sign. Bunnelby will probably get knocked out here, all he needs is another energy, or like a Mewtwo Y and an energy, so Bunnelby won't survive, but we might be able to get the Weezing out next turn. Uh, we're definitely not going to play Team Rocket's handiwork, because Cough Weezing will probably end up getting knocked out, so we need to play the Sycamore and go from there. Maybe I should have Rototiller back that special charge. Uh, I feel like that might actually have been the better move instead of Double Burrowed, but you know what, we ended up getting rid of a DC, so it's all good. So yeah, my opponent plays a DC on, which still doesn't let him knock me out, so if he doesn't get this Mewtwo in play, we might actually be fine for another turn, which would be kind of awesome. And we might actually be able to play Team Rocket's Handiwork. My opponent ends me, which is kind of annoying. I did like this hand a little bit. We had the DC, the Sycamore, to go with the Weezing. But, hey, you never know. Maybe our hand will be even better. You know what? It actually is. I will take it. We see a Mewtwo Spirit Link. Hopefully, we don't see the Mewtwo going down. Trainer's Mail. Okay, please do not get, like, an Ultra Ball or something. Please do not get the Mewtwo into play. Sycamore. All right, that, that's good. Please do not get Mewtwo. Please just Shadow Shot me for 30. Come on. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I got my fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on, do not get the Mewtwo. Come on, let's do it. Yes! We okay, perfect. This is good. This is really good. So, we can play down Coughing, we can play down Houndoom, we can Trainer's Mail, and we get an N. I don't think I'm gonna need that. We have Noise Sycamore next turn, so yeah. I'm gonna put the D the floatstone on. I might just team flare gun off that DCE, but I don't think there's needed to, so I'm just gonna go with Sycamore and see what we can get off of this and we get more energy we get a silent lab which i can play down shut down his uh stadium i guess i don't know put a fire energy on houndoom we'll play enhanced hammer and crushing hammer we might be able to discard all the energies on this thing i don't know if it'll matter but we'll go for it and no so i'm actually going to do that roto tiller play i am going to get back the special charge just because it is kind of important so i am going to get back the special charge after all you know what i'm going to do it and we'll go with a burrow for one and we'll see if we get to discard anything good. No, just a floatstone. I was hoping to get rid of a Mewtwo Y. 
Now, we are going to still get knocked out, but our hand is still good. I'll probably just bring out Houndoom, play the end, and go from there. So, I'm just really glad he didn't get that Mewtwo in play. That was actually pretty big for us. The fact they didn't get that down. We see a Trubbish going down. It doesn't really matter. Shaman getting shut down at this point. I don't think really matters too, too much. Uh, we see a special charge, though. That's a little annoying. I think my opponent can get back those DCEs. Oh, uh, that's bad. I don't really know any Mewtwo decks that play special charge, so that's weird. Uh, we know my opponent has a Sycamore in their hand, which also sucks. We are pretty low on the hammers, too. My opponent plays a DC down. We see the Sycamore. Opponent gets rid. We get to see a Mega Turbo get discarded, which is kind of nice to see get discarded. That could have been problematic. There's a Mewtwo Y. This is where we got to step our game up. Maybe that, if he plays a Garbodor down by accident, he can't find a way to retreat it. We might be able to just bring up the Garbodor for stall time if he actually decides to do that. We see more Mewtwo Spirit Links going down and another Mewtwo Y going down, which is kind of annoying. But at this point, I think we're in an okay spot. I really wanted, I would like to get a Team Flare Grunt so we can get rid of that DCE off of him. So, Bunnelby goes down, which is fine. We'll bring up Houndoom. We'll see what this top deck entails us. Bunnelby, okay, that's actually good, too. Uh, I'm just going to go with Sycamore. I don't think I need to play the end. I don't want to end when he only has four cards. You never know. He might not have anything good. We get Super Raw. We get another Houndoom. I can play that down. Uh, maybe I could Super Raw now. I don't think I need to, though, so never mind. And, yeah, I think Melting Horn for now. Might be the best move. We can Melting Horn, get rid of an Energy and a Mega Turbo. Mega Turbo get discarded is good. That's another way he can get energies back. He probably will start powering that Mewtwo up for a big knockout, which is bad. So we definitely need to play Team Flare Gun soon. Next turn, we can probably get out the Weezing and hopefully go from there. My opponent plays a Garbodor down. If he doesn't get a Flowstone on that thing, that thing is going to be a very easy target for Lysander. And how many VS Seekers have I even played? once yeah we have a seeker we could just lie sander the garbador up and try and stall it but he actually ends me which i guess is bad i mean i like this hand a lot but hey you know what maybe he doesn't find a knockout whatever maybe we get a good hand you know what our hand's good we actually do get that lie sander play we can do we see a parallel city getting played we'll just get rid of coughing since wheezing is kind of not really that good in this matchup anyways so yeah my pump is a dc on mewtwo doesn't really matter we'll just lie sander out that good old coughing or not coughing, Garbodor, and go from there. My point will take two prizes, but we can bring out the coughing. We can start using Wheezing now. And things are looking good. We can play the Wheezing down. I mean, it's not looking good, but he is, you know, maybe we can deck him out. Anyways, we'll go with the, the Seeker for Lysander. Now, if he plays, like, uh, if he plays, uh, what's him call it? Uh... Like, escape rope or switch. I'm in trouble, but let's balloon bomb. See if we can get the double heads again. Ooh, we do. Nice. Let's see if we get rid of Floatstone and a switching card. Just an X-Maniac and other stuff. We didn't really get rid of any switching cards, which sucks. Hopefully, this Garbodor stays in the active spot for a while. He can set up a retreat on it, which might be bad. But at that point, we might be able to deck him out. We'll see how this goes. We can Team Rocket Handy work him next turn. We can still attack with Houndoom. And we can even play Shaman if we wanted to with that Ultra Ball. So... Hopefully, we don't see this Garbodor switch out. If it stays in the active spot, we're going to be in a good spot. And maybe a Team Flare Gun would not be a bad top deck either, so we can actually Team Flare Gun and get rid of that uh, that energy on him, so then he can't just play a DCE down and retreat. So hopefully that happens. But if not, I mean, that Garbodor is still sitting on the bench either way when it retreats, so if we can get a Via Seeker, we can still bring out that Garbodor and keep it in the active spot. And that'll be great. So, yeah, I feel like my opponent probably regrets playing that Garbodor, but you know what, it's all good. Please do not switch it out, please do not switch it out. Please do not find a way to switch out this Garbodor anytime soon. He might play Escape Rope, I feel like they do. I don't, have they even played one yet? I don't even know. We see a Via Seeker going for a Lysander, which is fine. Uh, see what they bring up. Bring up Houndoom, that's fine. We got the energy in our hand, we got Team Rocket's hand to work. This hand is really good, and we're in a really good spot, though, still. And we even get a top deck for Shaman, which is still good. Well, Team Rocket's handy work, I guess. Double heads? A double heads and wow we got rid of a lot of stuff we got rid of n and everything all right let's play shaman down i mean it doesn't really matter if we play the x down at this point anyway so hopefully we can get something we need we get energy we got super rod i guess we'll play it and we'll get back houndoom we'll get rid of like an energy and a bundle b and i think i'm just getting rid of the coffee and the wheezing at this point i don't think they're needed and we will get ourselves i'll just get shaman for next turn so we can use setup unless my opponent retreats but even if not i think we'll find so let's go with a melting horn 
and get rid of two cards via Seeker and Sycamore. I think they're out of via Seekers now, actually. And I feel like this Garbodor will be retreating, which sucks. But we didn't really have any way to actually do anything. But you know what? If we get a Via Seeker, we can still bring up the Garbodor anyways and try and trap it. It's going to be a very close game. I'm still probably going to keep it because we are very close to decking them out. And you know what? We can play Shaman next turn unless they play a Tool Down, which I hope they don't do. But no, they just attach another Energy, which means they didn't have anything. Which I'm actually probably just going to retreat the Houndoom into Weezing, which I'm going to do. Just so Houndoom isn't in the way. So let's just do it. Um, and let's go with a Balloon Bomb. Double heads? Come on, please don't get double tails. Okay, good. Double head, or not double heads, but we do get a head. We get rid of a Trubbish and a Sycamore. My opponent, again, will probably be retreating this turn, but they have four cards left, so I don't know how they're going to win. Oh, this is bad. Unless they Super Rod, which I would hate to see. They do play DC down, so it looks like they top deck that, so they will be able to retreat the Garbodor, but we might be able to just Lysander out again. Oh, but no, they'd still have an energy on it, wouldn't they? But you know what? It still bought us a turn to actually deck him out, so it's fine. We'll see what else my opponent will do here. They have four cards left in their deck. Uh, maybe we should have kept the Balloon Bomb and just tried to go for double heads. But if we get Team Rocket's Handiwork too, we can deck him out. Uh, what they actually attack me, which is pretty weird. Uh, okay, I'm surprised they didn't just retreat. Okay, well, that's fine enough. We'll bring out the Bunnel Bee. They probably still might have a win, but even then, like that's still a weird move for them. We do get a special charge. We could probably just play that, thin up the hand a little bit. What I'm really looking for here is a trait. We really need to get Team Rocket's handiwork. If we get Team Rocket's handiwork, we will be able to probably win the game. Oh, no. What the heck, Via Seeker? Where are you? Two left in the deck. We didn't get it. Well, we can Team Flare Grunt off the DCE. I don't know if that matters anymore. Um... We can Ultra Ball, get rid of Weezing, and DCE, I guess. See what was left in the deck. We grab Houndoom. There, yeah, we still had a Via Seeker and a Team Rocket Handiwork. We didn't draw into it, which... Oh, that sucks. So, let's double Burrow and hope for the best. Get rid of a Psychic Energy. More Energy can discard is good. Hopefully, get rid of another Energy and a Hex Maniac. Now, my gar the Garbodor might be able to retreat, but you know what? If they don't have a Lysander or anything, we will be able to win. I don't think they do. They've already played two and a Via Seeker. So, I think we have the win. I don't know if my opponent can win. Let's see. Uh, end to two. Oh, that gives him more cards. God damn it. Oh, we are going to get six, though. So, maybe this will actually be good for us. All right. You know what? That's fine. Uh, as long as we don't get knocked out here, we're fine. Uh, and, oh, look at that. We might be able to win now. So, let's go with the VS Seeker. Let's play the Team Rocket's Handiwork. And we can actually enhance Hammer off a DCE while we're at it, I guess. Make that Mewtwo not be uh, scary. Team Rocket's Handiwork. We need to get one heads. Hey! Okay, nice. We win the game. We were able to beat out our arguably worst matchup. And that is great. We just double burrowed for the win. Let's go. Double burrow. Boom! Goodbye to the top of their deck. And we just beat out a Mewtwo Garbodor deck. My opponent played a Garbodor down, which probably was not the best move they could have done. But we were still able to win. And let's see, we get two tournament tickets. Yeah, come on, man. Why they, Why can't they just tone down the amount of tournament tickets that are on the wheel for the double wheel thing they're doing? It's kind of annoying. I'm kind of getting tired of getting tournament tickets off of the off of the wheel. Let's go to my collection, and let's actually see if I have any packs to open. I don't know if I do. I might have one. If not, I may buy a Hercules Silver Pack from the store for you guys. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. We'll buy a Hercules Silver Pack. I don't know. Maybe we'll buy a different pack. We'll see. Let's just go to the shop. Uh, I mean, there's a new shop item coming tomorrow because I'm recording this on Tuesday. But uh, <laughs> we can buy the Wobbuffet thing, which I already bought, I think. So never mind. So, yeah, let's just buy one Hercules Soul Silver Pack. And we'll open it up. And we'll see what's inside of it. And that'll end off the video. I think I showed off the deck pretty well. We were able to beat out a pretty rough matchup, too. In a close game. So, anyways, we'll open the Hercules Soul Silver Pack. And we will see what is inside of it. Come on, give me Reverse Hollow DCE, no, and our rare is a Typhlosion. We did not get anything good out of that pack. We actually got the whole Syndical line, which is kind of funny. We got the whole Typhlosion line. We got a coffee, just, you know, for the theme of the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to more PTO videos showing off a mill deck that may have potential, may not. I think the Houndoom Bunnelby mill deck is a little better, but the Weezing mill deck still worked out pretty well. We were still able to beat a pretty 
pretty rough matchup, and I think I showed up the deck pretty well in those two games. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys on another PCO video, and actually, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and also, do not forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1K, but we're going to go for 2K, going big, and I'll see you guys on another PCO video. Peace out.